Jerome Brunner. Brunner's emphasis on the narrative led to a range of approaches in qualitative research and education, including narrative analysis. Brunner's work is now very critical for the field of education, because, like other key philosophers, including Lev Vygotsky and John Dewey, he brought a constructivist approach to learning and knowledge. In this video, let's talk about Jerome Brunner, an American cognitive psychologist who was born blind, lived up to 100 years, and played a central part in the cognitive revolution, and developed Developed sociocultural approaches to education, namely sociocultural constructivist theory. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Teaching and Learning Central. After that, leave a comment about other aspects of Brunner's work you'd like to hear about. Now, let's get to it. Brunner's own behaviorist models that had important implications for the field of education. Brunner argues that language can code stimuli and free an individual from the constraints of dealing only with appearances to provide a more complex yet flexible cognition. The use of words can aid the development of the concepts they represent and can remove the constraints of the here and now concept. What is the main difference between Piaget's and Brunner's theories? Although both Brunner and Piaget emphasize the social context as being important for cognitive development, there were significant differences. Brunner leaned more towards social constructivism, or sociocultural theory, which suggests that learners actively construct their knowledge through experiences and interactions with others. Piaget's orientation was towards individual thinking. How did Brunner contribute toward a rhetorical turn in psychology? The rhetorical turn, or narrative turn, took place in the mid-70s, when meaning became a central element in social sciences. This was when Brunner highlighted the importance of meaning as a central process of the individual mind as well as of social interaction. Here, throughout his work, he remained interested in how individuals become meaning-making agents in cultural contexts. This necessarily implies an interest in the interplay between how we construct stories and how we are constructed by available cultural narratives. What is Brunner's notion of language? Brunner gave priority to social and cultural factors involved in the process of learning and that communication mediates the social and cultural process. For Brunner, language grows out of the social and cultural processes and facilitates communication. Well, that's a wrap on this video. We hope you found it informational. And if you did, make sure to press the like button and show some love by sharing this video. Be sure to leave a comment about how Brunner's work has been influential in your thinking, teaching, and learning. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to our channel to check out more mini lessons and summaries on educational topics. Thank you for your service, educators. Until the next time.